Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, which country proposed comprehensive convention on international terrorism in United Nations General Assembly? And the right answer is India only. India proposed comprehensive convention on international terrorism. So let's now start today's session. First question for the day with regard to forex reserves of India. Consider the following statement. Statement 1 it includes external assets in the form of gold, SDRs, and foreign currency assets. Statement 2 India's forex reserves were steadily increasing after 1991 to till date. Statement 3 Fall in crude oil price helps in rise of forex reserves. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 and 2 only, Option B 2 and 3 only, Option C 1 and 3 only and Option D 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so here all the above statements are correct. So our answer is Option D 1, 2 and 3. There is a Reserve Bank of India Act and the Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 which set the legal provisions for governing the foreign exchange reserves and uh, RB accumulates foreign currency reserves by purchasing from authorized dealers in open market operations and in India forex reserves consist of four categories first one is foreign currency assets next is gold third one is special drawing rights and uh, fourth one is reserve transposition and the need for forex reserves are as IMF says official forex reserves are held in support of a range of activities like supporting and maintaining confidence in the policies for monetary and exchange rate management, including the capacity to intervene in support of the nation, national or uh, union currency. And another need is that it will limit external vulnerability by maintaining foreign currency liquidity to absorb shocks during times of crisis or when access to borrowing is curtailed. And a recent report says that India's foreign exchange reserves are rising and are slated to hit $500 billion mark soon. In the last month, it jumped by $12.4 billion to an all-time high of $493.48 billion. So soon it will hit $500 billion mark. And the reasons for that are the rise in FBI and FII that is foreign portfolio in investment and FDIs and second one is crash in oil prices also help uh, there is fall in overseas remittances and uh, foreign travel so these are the major reasons for the jump in uh, forex reserves of India and the advantage is that the rising forex reserves gives a lot of comfort to the government and the RBI in managing India's external and internal financial issues at a time when the economic growth is set to contract by 1.5% in 2020 2021. So, that is about uh, Forex uh, reserves. We will now move to second question. Second question is with reference to airborne rescue port for isolated transportation, ARPIT. Recently seen in the news, consider the following statement. Statement 1 It is designed, developed, and manufactured by Indian Army. Statement 2 The pod is used for evacuation of critical patients with heart ailment only. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. Guys here both the statements are wrong. So our answer is Option D neither 1 nor 2. It is the Indian Air Force which has developed and inducted ARPIT that is airborne rescue port for isolated transportation. This port will be utilized for the evacuation of critical patients with infectious diseases including COVID-19 from high altitude area, isolated and remote places. So it is not for uh, heart patients, it is for infectious diseases patients. And uh, you can see the images here, the box like structure in the middle is ARPIT. It is like a cascade, the patients will be kept inside. It is a lightweight isolation system made from aviation certified material. It has transparent and durable cast perspex that is the plastic kind of thing for enhanced patient visibility which is larger, higher and wider than existing models. 
the isolation system caters for the suitable number of air exchanges integration of medical monitoring instruments and ventilation to an intubated patient in addition it generates high constant negative pressure in the isolation chamber for uh, prevention of infection risk to air crew ground crew and uh, healthcare workers involved in air transportation so that is the basic idea about uh, arpit and guys it's time for quiz question and today's quiz question is related with indian air force only and the question is name the light combat aircraft of indian air force so please post your answers in the comment section we'll now move to last question for the day last question is covid beep app recently seen the news is developed by which among the following one employees state insurance corporation medical college hyderabad two defense institute of advanced technology pune three indian institute of technology hyderabad and four department of atomic energy select the correct answer using the codes given below option a 1 2 and 4 only option b 1 3 and 4 only option c 2 and 3 only and option d 1 and 4 only guys the correct answer uh, here is it is option b 1 3 and 4 only defense institute of advanced technology pune is not involved in this so it has been developed by esic medical college hyderabad in collaboration with iit hyderabad and department of atomic energy and covid beep stands for continuous oxygenation and vital information detection biomed ecil esic pod that is covid beep it is cost effective it is india's first indigenous wireless parameter monitoring system for the patients of corona virus and uh, the latest version of covid beep has been incorporated with nibp that is non invasive blood pressure the respiratory rate ecg all can be monitored wirelessly using this covid beep it will help in greatly reducing the transmission risk as well as will help in saving resources like uh, personal protective equipment that is pp so that is about uh, covid beep that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post answer to the quiz question and discuss in the comment section thank you for watching